So I'm just going to, in this video, uh, yeah, hopefully practice some basic uh, comparison operators and also if statements, which uh, I, I did in the last video. So we're just going to go over them. Right, so what is an if statement? An if statement says that if a condition is true, then do something right so for example if five is greater than six then do all the code inside the brackets yeah the squiggly i call them squiggly brackets execute this code if true okay simple enough what does that look like? So we'll say that if five is more than six, then we do everything inside of here, which will be to print that five is more than six. Wow. Will it print or will it not? No, it won't. It won't print because this isn't true. Five is not more than six. Okay. So what is true? Is 7 more than 8? No, of course it isn't. Is 7 more than 6? Yes, that'll work. So let's uh, look at an example of a working if statement. So we'll say that 7 is more than 6. Now this is obviously true. And so we'll see the printout. Okay. And so if you look at this, an if statement says that if a condition is true, then do something. So for example, if seven is more than six, then do something. Now, what we want to do is signified by these curly brackets here, okay? So we basically are saying, if seven is more than six, then do all of this, okay? I could actually print something else here. So I could print, hello, right like that if i print this out i've got two print statements which shows you that we've executed this if statement right i can also have things like if 52 is the same as 52 then print 52 is 52, okay? And that's uh, another comparison operator there. That's the double equal sign. And here we're saying that that is that the same as that, you know? Another if statement will say if, I don't know, one less than zero, print one is less than zero. Okay, it won't print uh, because it's simply not true. Now, when you actually do these if statements, uh, you want to make sure that whatever they do, at least when you're practicing until you're a bit more advanced with your Swift programming, you want whatever they print out or whatever they do here uh, to make sense. So for example, if I say seven is more than six and I print out seven is more than six, that makes sense because we're testing whether this is greater than this okay and so we want like a print statement or something that represents the query right if i put something like if eight is more than ten then print let's have a party we'll get um sorry not well we get nothing but eight is more than ten it's more than seven sorry it says let's have a party okay cool so we know that eight is more than seven so we printed out let's have a party the problem is let's have a party being printed out um you know we only know that this has executed because this has this uh this text here has been executed right if we were to guess what kind of print statements uh sorry if statements have been selected here i would guess that this was an if seven is greater than six then print this okay this i wouldn't really attach to that same kind of if statement right 
here I would assume that maybe we're asking is 52 equal to 52 and the print statement says 52 is 52 as you can see here but here where we've got the response let's have a party I would never have guessed that the question asked is eight is eight more than seven you know if I said to someone in the real world is eight more than seven and they said let's have a party unless I was at a party that would be a very strange response so what I'm saying is whatever your if statements produce you know whilst you're practicing and learning the if statement should follow the logic of the if statements right so I'm going to keep that as that just just as an example essentially um, and just leave that as it is right we can also have things like if nine less than and or equal to nine print nine is less than or equal to nine this is obviously true and we're going to put if nine is less than or equal to ten print nine is less than or equal to ten right fairly simple okay now when we run this these two should print what what's going on here what has happened here that doesn't make any sense oh i didn't close the bloody there we go right so we've got nine is less than or equal to nine nine is less than or equal to ten if you look there i could easily figure out that the question that was asked in the if statement was is nine less than or equal to nine right easily i can see that and here you can also see that the question asked in the if statement relates to the answer printed out right you can also see that it follows logic obviously nine is less than or equal to nine because it's equal to nine right and obviously nine is less than or equal to ten because nine is less than ten right so you can see how the logic plays out you can see that it all makes sense essentially all these if statements are, are we we ask is this true or is this false that's it okay i think we can do it with booleans you know so we'll call ver boolean one equals true right oops not true and we'll say if bool one oops this IDE, I, I really don't like this Swift online playground. So if bool one print true, you know, we're just going to return the boolean, right? When when I run that, I haven't got an error. It prints out true. So here we haven't asked. We've asked the question: Is boolean one true? If boolean one, so if this is true. Then print out this boolean one is just default equal to true because it's a boolean of value true so if you see here i haven't actually had to use like any kind of comparison or any strange logic all i've had to do is just ask if a boolean is true right we'll also say if bool well actually we'll we'll, we'll make a new boolean we'll call it the bool2 right it will say that bool2 equals false and we'll say that if bool two will print true okay we run that and you can see there's only one value of true which shows that this second if statement hasn't executed this is because bool true bool two is false and not true so this will never execute because the condition that we're asking for which is bool two is false you know so this is false so we're saying if condition is true then do this here condition is not true condition is false so this code here cannot be executed that's really all there is to it you know i'm not going to actually put comments into this in the uh, github i actually want people to um to kind of work this out themselves anyway thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed